What is up guys? It is Stix here and today I'm going to be going over this week's Ascendant Challenge. Now to start off, if Pet Revenge is located on this rock, then you are not in the correct load zone and you should reload the Dreaming City before you continue. Without further ado, go ahead and get on your Sparrow. We'll be passing by Pet Revenge's new location on our way into Rea Silvia for this week's Ascendant Challenge. You'll just want to continue up this cliff and then go through this little cave area. If you hit a loading screen anywhere in here that stops you for a moment, don't worry about it. Petrovenge will be right over there as you enter. And you can just feel free to continue. We'll be wanting to go into the big old temple because there is one portal all the way in the back of it. Get your sparrow here. There is a way to get up with your sparrow, but it is, uh, I am one, too lazy to do it, and two, don't know how. I'm going to be running the trace rifle for this season, and the fusion rifle from a couple of seasons ago nil composure you can run this with any weapon you want probably blues work as well We're just going to make our way up these stairs, dodge all the mobs back there, they aren't going to do very much anyway. The ones up here you might need to kill, but first let's use our tincture. Now once you're entering this area with your tincture used, you will see these platforms glowing. I missed that one, my bad. Don't worry too much if you miss it here, but you will want to get used to it pretty quickly because in the future of this Ascendant Challenge, a miss will mean you die and restart. It is a terrible thing. Alrighty, once you enter, this is the Keep of Honed Edges. Uh, there are two different spots that you will spawn from, but most everything looks the same except for the end and like where you start from, clearly, because it's the same room. You just spawn on two different sides. So be careful because some of these rocks will uh, delete when you stand on them. Alrighty, so your primary objective here is you first want to kill all of the hive. Then, once the hive are dead, you grab the big old sword in the middle. Last throw. Then grab the sword. And there are going to be a bunch of Taken that begin to spawn, but they're not the main enemy here because they'll just keep respawning forever. You'll want to kill all of those Hive Knights because they are immune to everything that isn't the sword. But after you've killed them all, do not drop the sword. That is the only way you get out of the Ascendant Challenge. With loot, that is. Just spam heavy attacks on them if you would like. It's very easy to do. Just stuns the crap out of them. Once you kill that one, the other two will do their thing. And once you kill the last of the uh, three knights, the 
only few things that'll be left will be maybe a thrall and an eye. Now, starting from here, you'll want to get your wish and or exotic bow out. You're going to want to jump onto this platform based on the reference point of that big opening in front of you. And you'll want to try and jump onto this little, uh, what do you call it? Veranda or something. And then you'll want to get all the way to the top of this building. Now, as you can see from what I'm trying to do here, it is very difficult. That little white speck in the sky is the ascendant egg over like a cliff or something. So you'll just need to keep shooting at it from different, like slightly different positions until you hit the right one. And it is very annoying. So just bear it with it for a bit, you know, change your position. Higher is probably better. Alrighty. Now from the same general positioning, you're going to want to come over here with the sword. This one disappeared. It is the same ones that disappear every time, by the way. So you can remember it. Like this one does not disappear, and then the one I'm about to jump on also disappears. You're gonna wanna make it to this platform where this goblin and vandal are, preferably by following what I've done until now and then following the reference point at the skirt of this clip. And then you're gonna look in this direction. You can see when the light crackles that there is a gigantic, like, uh, cliff there. You are going to want to jump as high as you can and sword fly there. My only recommendations are things like, uh, no, to be honest, I don't think it matters because you can just jump up like this and then just constantly left click. So you don't need to worry about jumping or anything and just guide yourself to the right position. See? And then you're going to want to just make your way up the cliff a little bit. I recommend going left as you go around the cliff a little bit if you get stuck. Because the left side has a lot of little nooks and stuff. And then when you jump over here, there's your egg. Go ahead and just point blank shoot it with the wish under bow. The wish under exotic bow is the only bow that can break these eggs. I'm gonna sword fly back because I don't trust myself doing the parkour and this is just way easier. All right, and now I'm going to show you the bones. You'll wanna go to this building over here and you'll know that it is what it is when you reach the edge and this platform starts to glow that I'm standing on. You're going to want to just go a little bit forward in this direction. Be very careful. Make sure it's it's extremely annoying to do on a hunter. I will put that out there because you don't have as much. Uh, you don't have the glide, so you don't slowly fall. You just jump up. Because what you're trying to do is you're trying to trigger the glow so you know where to stand. You know, once you get a groove for it, the bones will be right where I'm standing. Right here. I've already picked them up on this character on I think all of my characters, but that is exactly where it is. There's no need to worry about it. Alrighty, once we're back here, as you can see my portal is spawned all the way over there. Uh, I'm going to run to the portal with sword in hand. Do not put the sword down, because if you do, you will no longer be eligible for rewards from the Ascendant Challenge, so you won't get any. Avoid all of these rocks to the best of your ability. To be completely honest with you, I've already died twice due to the rocks. So, it's not like you're a bad player if you end up getting hit by one or something. Just pick yourself back up, try again. Gonna zoom on here. And then there's the chest. Now you can pick that up. <laughs> Everyone loves this Ascendant Challenge, I'm sure. 
and get on out so you can just go do something else. Thank you for watching.